In this short video, I'm just going to step you through the Open Inquiry website space, which is the other half of the unit uh, content. Firstly, we have three spaces. We have the Blackboard space, which is online on the QUT website. This space is going to be used very minimally, uh, and um, I will be directing you from that space directly to this website space. This is where you'll find all of the information that you need for the unit. And the third space is our MeWe group, which is where all of our communication and conversation is going to be happening. So this is the home page of the uh, unit and you will see that I have tried to design this site so that you can guide your own you can find your own way through the modules as you work through them at your own pace or along with us each week so from the home page you need to go to getting started which is either from the drop down menu or here uh, from the link in the text and uh, it also refers to the online community on MeWe and when we go to getting started it actually sets out for you all of the information that you need in order to prepare for the unit. Uh, you need to sign up to MeWe, uh, which is our communication space, and you need to set up a blog space. Now, some students have already set up blog spaces previously for other units. Um, all students must familiarize yourself with this information. So if I open this page up, this information on Explain, is explaining about the blog space and the website space that you need for this unit, specifically for this unit. And you'll see examples on this page of previous uh, students work in previous years that will guide you in how you are going to set up your space for this particular unit. However, if you've already set up a blog previously, I would encourage you to check out this information in the bottom sentence because this outlines information about whether or not you need to create a completely new and separate space or whether you can build on the space that you already have. So definitely read through that if you already have completed blogs or websites for previous subjects. If, for, uh, for example, you have never set up a blog or a website before and you feel like you need a little bit of extra guidance, please check out the information in the middle sentence, which is a very uh, extensive, not expensive, extensive overview of creating and setting up a blog for the first time. So that's all of the information that is here on the Getting Started page. And it will lead you through to the very first part of module one. Now, unfortunately in week one, I will not be available for our weekly online tutorial. This is not a common occurrence. I've never missed a tutorial before, but in week one, it will be, you'll be working through activities independently. And then in week two, we'll come together for our group tutorial, our synchronous tutorial in Zoom uh, for the first time. So here I have got a, a Padlet, which you can actually open up into a new window and see in full by clicking this little square in the corner. And this steps you exactly through the information you need to go through the first week. So we've got step by step what you need to do, follow the arrows, and then you'll have completed your week one tasks. It looks like a lot, but it really won't take you very long. And especially if you use the time that's usually allocated to the tutorial uh, that we will be having. So that's the uh, very first week one tutorial. For the remainder of the semester, you can see that when you click on schedule, it comes up with an overview of the entire semester for you. So we have, uh, week one, um, and these are the resources, and this is the pages on the web website that you require, and then over here are the resources that you will need uh, to associate it with that week and with the assignments. So I would encourage you to look through that, and if you would like a printable version of the schedule, just click there, and there's a, a plain printable one for you. So that because I know that sometimes it's good to have that on the fridge or you know somewhere handy. 
Now, the community tab is where you can request access to the MeWe group. So that's where you need to go in order to set up that access. I'll also be sharing that link with you via emails and uh, other types of information. So don't worry if you forget, but it's, um, and the, com and the community is limited only to currently enrolled students. However, there are lots of people outside of this unit of work who can contribute to our learning and who we can share with and connect with uh, beyond this unit. And so for all of our, our external communication, I would encourage you to use Twitter and append the hashtag LCN616. And when you share or interact online in Twitter and use that hashtag, we'll be able to connect more widely with the wider inquiry learning community. Now, the two most important pages are module one and module two. This unit is separated into two modules and each one aligns with the assignments. So module one aligns with assignment one and module two aligns with assignment two. So when you click on module one, you will see that it opens up a page a little bit slowly that explains the content of mo module one that relates the information for assignment one. Here is the assignment one guide as a printable document for you. So you can download that and print it out and it gives you an overview of the entire assignment and what you need to do. Here it is in visual form and each of these are linked. So if you click on these purple links, uh, they give you a short explanation of what the uh, what that section is about and what you're what you're going to be doing in that section. If you click on the green links, it will take you to the relevant page on this website. So it's it's a, like a, a little site map for you. Uh, then we go down, and if the interactive map this map doesn't load or if you want to just go directly without fussing uh, we've got here a series of links which again take you to the different steps of the module so these echo the pages from this drop down menu here as well okay so there's several ways to navigate to the same place uh, just to make it easier for you to always find where you are and the resources uh, for this first part of the first few weeks of the unit are uh, also hyperlinked here in this Padlet. So you can either navigate it straight from here or you can open it into a new window by clicking on that little square there. So when you, as you work your way through the module, you will go to each of these pages and it will instruct you on what you're investigating, what you're learning, and also it will have information and resources for you. So if we just scroll down here, you'll see there's videos, there's information, and there's also more resources for you on different pages. So the same thing happens in module two. If I click on module two, you'll see that we've got a sim very similar layout. We've got the assignment two details, assignment two is a printable document. We've got the interactive map that has the explan explanatory information and also the arrows that take you to the particular page that you need to. Then we've got the links here in case the map does not load. And each of these images will take you to the next page of the module. So you can navigate, navigate from page to page by using this as well. Um, and underneath, we will have information and resources in the Padlet. If you ever are looking for a particular resource and you're not sure where you found it, if you go to the resources tab, uh, you will see that this information is content, content is password protected. And that's because I'm also going to be sharing the tutorials here. And I understand that sometimes people don't like those to be publicly available. So if you enter in the password, which I will email to you, um, I'll just enter it in now. Uh, you can actually save this so you only have to do it once. Um, You'll see that I've separated all of the resources. This is where I will put the tutorial recording videos when they've been completed. But here we have all of the resources that are associated with each of the 
sections of the module. So if you click on these, it's the text, the colored text that is the hyperlink. And if you click on that, it will take you directly to the uh, resource associated with that particular uh, topic. And uh, I've also added in there the assignments for easy access again for you. So hopefully there's a few other pages that we haven't gone into but fairly self-explanatory. Hopefully this will uh, be a useful guide for you for navigating the open inquiry uh, information website for inquiry learning.